Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. If you remember, in my previous video tutorial, we have integrated our front-end code in MVC as we have replaced the by default header with our created header and the default footer with our created footer. Now, we need a place to make our menu and header a dynamic from ASP.NET. So what we will do, we will create a model. In that model, we will store the information of logo and this menu. So what we will do first, we will create a logic. We have two kind of menus. The first menu is appearing here and the second menu is appearing as the nav bar. So we will create a terminology and the system where we can define the menu location and then the menu for that location so we will create this uh, I will create a new mockup and design that for the menu we need a simple drop down or the text field uh, when I want to input the data for example I will say named as menu menu location now I have a browser okay in that browser I have a input field here is the input field here I will declare the menu location and I have a button and it will save the location I will use to create only one page and there will be a tab uh, which will restoring this information like I will use a tab okay and here we have different scenarios such as for I will say menu location list location then menu uh, create menu and menu list okay so these are the tabs which are we going to use so in the menu location it will represent like this okay uh, I will delete this use as the upper body here like this oops this one this and if we have location list then there will be a table like this which have the first will be the name or location there will be ID location and links how many links in that location menu okay uh, for example zero header nav and there are four links one footer links comma uh, six so it will represent like this in the list location in the create menu there will be a drop down along with this so I will say combo box in the combo box there will be information of menus such as header 
और फुटर अदर ना यूजर हैव टू सेलेक्ट द लोकेशन ऑफ द मेन्यू एंड देन ऐड द लोकेशन अलोंग विद दिस वी नीड द यू आर यू आर सच एज आई एम डिक्लेरिंग होम पेज एंड here will be the url of that page and then click save and it will add it against uh, the nav menu or the location of the menu so now uh, here is the menu location list location create menu and now i am going to create the menu list so the menu list will be appear something like uh, id location name url so here will be the location header name will be home and it will be abc.com and same here one contact like this so here will be the fourth tab which is representing and one thing more we have action here and that will be added delete okay so now it's fine so when you will click on edit uh, you can edit the information and when you will click on delete it will delete the record same as it is we have here as action uh, like this in the edit perspective you can only change the name of this location not the link countdown the link will be Uh, count by the menu links which we have created so the value of this url is inserted here and updated whenever the new record is added so here is the structure of the menu which we have created i hope this video tutorial is informative for you if you have any kind of question regarding this you can ask us and in the next video tutorial we will create a model based on this and implement that on ASP.NET MVC. Take care. Bye-bye. Have fun.